If you want the chance to win, want the chance to win the mainframe on my car right now, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment your Xbox gamer tag down below for a chance to enter. The giveaway will be announced at 50 subscribers. <laughs> Alright, so heading off into the first trade, guys, we're going to be selling our Sky Blue Animus GP for a couple Arrow Mages, which I'm pretty sure are 700 minimum value. They're going to be very hard to sell, but very happy about this trade, because we're only paying around 200 credits for them, and they are valued around 700. Even though they are hard to sell, this is going to be some insane profit. So, if you remember, we picked up this Striker White Fennec for 4,000 credits in the last video, and I'm just going to be quick selling it here for 5,000 credits, because I picked it up for so cheap, I was able to get rid of it very quickly. Um, on Lucky for Group, I just said, want offers, this guy said 5,000, and uh, I said, sure. So, very happy about this trade, and we're going to be picking up that 1,000 credit profit. And right here, this guy is overpaying by around 200 credits. I had him add that non-crate very rare because it is going to be very hard to sell, but I know I can get at least up for the minimum value. It may take a little bit longer, but profit is profit. So very happy about this trade, and hopefully we can make at least 200 credit profit from this. Or I might just swap it out, swap the gray meteor storm back for a mainframe or another title stream or something. So they will still get profit, but I will be making that non-crate very rare profit from just one trade. And right here we're going to be picking up three non-crate very rare, one of them happens to be anodized, so that's going to be, it's not a non-crate very rare, but it's valued the same as a non-crate very rare, so I'll be able to sell those for around 270 credits. Right here we're going to be paying 15,000 for a white octane, it is still rising, so very happy about this trade, and we're going to be picking it up for the mid value. Um, so it's 14,500 to 15,500, so we're going to be paying 15,000, and said it is cert certified, and it's still rising. Hopefully I can sell it for that max price of 15,500. If not, I could easily sell it back for 15,000, so we won't be losing profit. So I probably could have, could have gotten a little bit more for it if I waited, but we're going to be selling it for 15,100, which is a little bit over that mid value, and we're going to be making 100 credit profit just like that. So happy about this trade, but I could have gotten more. Um, because this was the first offer I got, but since it is profit, I decided to take it in case I didn't get a better offer. And right here, we're gonna, just going to be quick selling our Cobalt Octane for 470 credits. Um, it's only 30 under the minimum value, so actually, no, it did drop to 450, that's why I'm selling it um, for this low, sorry about that. But it was 500, dropped to 450, so very happy to get 470 for it, because people were still going to underpay by around 100 credits as it did drop, so people were going to underpay even more. So happy to get 470 credits, which is 20 over the minimum value after an item just dropped, which is not bad at all. And you can get any, um, you can get 10 credits for any painted uncommon. Right here, we're going to be selling our forest green Comion for 10 credits. Uh, he already had all the other painted ones I had. So happy about this trade, picking up 10 credits for our painted Comion. So right here, the sky blue meteor storm was actually really hard to sell. So we're going to be swapping it for a black animus GP, which is valued around a thousand credits so we're going to be selling the sky blue meteor storm for a thousand if we can sell the black animus gp for a thousand so happy to pick this up also selling our purple macaron for 10 credits probably could have gotten more as it is a macaron and people are trying to build the set because pink is also discontinued as well as the black animus gp and since the black animus gp is only 400 to 500 on spreadsheet but it is discontinued you can sell it for around a thousand credits at the moment and right here, this guy's offering us his Sky Blue Arrow Mage for our Cobalt Arrow Mage. It is 200 more on spreadsheet, so this is a very good steal. And he just wanted the Cobalt one for his car. So he's just going to be giving us Sky Blue. And we're going to be making that easy 200 credit profit if we can sell these items for the minimum value. Right here, we're going to be selling um, 2,000 credits for 24 non crate very rare, which hopefully I can sell for over 2,000 credits. They are valued around 90 credits each, maybe more. But since I do have 24, people will pay in bulk and buy more of them. So we're underpaying by quite a bit here. I probably could get 2,400 for 24, as white octane is still rising and non crate very rares are how you get it. So happy about this trade, and hopefully we can sell them off for 2,400, making that 400 credit profit. Once again, we're going to be picking up another white octane for 15,000. Um, this one's not certified, but hopefully it is still going up. And um, I keep forgetting selling the last one before because it was certified, so I probably could have gotten more for it. But anyways, we're going to be picking one up for 15,000. Hopefully we can make some easy profit. If not, I'll just sell it back for 15,000 credits. And right here, we're going to be selling our anodized for 100 credits. So happy about this trade because I would value it as a non-create very rare, but this guy is going to be giving us 100 instead of 80 to 100. 
So, happy to sell this out of my inventory and just get more credits so I can make more trades. And as I said, since White Octane was going up, it was really easy to flip them. We're going to be selling it for 15400 Probably could have gotten that 15500 range, but happy nonetheless because we are going to be making a 400 credit profit. Right here is a little bit risky. We're going to be picking another one up for 15500 because it actually did go up on spreadsheet this time, so people are going to be wanting to pay around 16000 for it, hopefully. So we're going to be picking one up for 15500 I know we just sold one for 15400 but that was before it went up on the spreadsheet. So since it went up on spreadsheet, we're going to be picking one up for 15500 and hopefully we can sell it for a little bit more. Right here, we're going to be selling our 24 non-crate rares for 2100 making that easy 100 credit profit from um, picking them up for 2000 So, um, yeah, happy about this trade. Probably could have gotten more, but we're going to be making that easy 100 credit profit. In this trade, we're going to be selling our three remaining non-crate very rare for 250 credits, and we're just going to be getting more credits on our inventory to make more trades in the future. In this trade, we're going to be selling our Grey Meteor Storm for a title stream, and we're going to be making that non-crate very rare profit, and then sell the title stream for around 1,000 credits. So making that easy non-crate very rare profit, and happy to get this Grey Meteor Storm out of my inventory for a title stream, which will be a lot easier to sell. I was offering this guy around 30,000 credit inventory if you add it all up for a striker wide octane which I could probably sell for around 30,000 credits but it would take the time to sell all of the items in my inventory. Um, so this guy just decided to try to scam me for some reason instead of just saying no thank you or sorry I can't do that. He decided to go for the scamming route and I noticed that immediately as I'm an experienced trader. Um, so if anyone just adds in random items and you didn't ask them to. They're probably trying to scam, so just be careful of that, and just try to avoid this guy as he did try to scam me, and he might try to do the same to you. In this trade, we're going to be picking up Striker White Zombas for 2,100 credits. Hopefully, I can sell them for um, over their maximum price. 2,100 is their maximum price right now, and this guy was happy to sell them off for that maximum price because maybe that's what he bought them for or something, but I know I could sell them for over their maximum price and make at least like around 500 credit profit or something like that so this guy had a bubbly and was looking for a different bnb um i valued the bubbly at 1100 and the title stream at 1000 so he was happy to just add title i was he was happy to take title stream if i added 100 credits just because he was bored of bubbly and just was looking for a different black market decal so i'm going to be adding 100 and we're going to be making 50 credit profit from this trade so I couldn't get much more than 15,500 for the white octane, so we're going to be just taking 15,000 a fennec and 3 non-crate rare, which will I'll be able to sell for around 60 credits as each non-crate rare. You could probably get 20 credits each for in the long run, and I know I could easily get 500 credits for the fennec, so we're going to be making around 60 credit profit from this white octane. And as I said, we were able to sell the fennec for 500 credits, so now we officially just made those 3 non-crate rare, um profit from the white octane trade so happy to sell the fennec for 500 credits i don't think you could get more for with the fennec unless someone like really needs it so we're just going to be selling it off for 500 credits and for the last trade of the video we're going to be picking up a titanium white fennec for 3600 which is 3900 or 3800 minimum i believe at the moment so we're going to be making some easy profit if we can sell it for that minimum value which i know i can because it has steadied out and people will be willing to pay that minimum value as it is a very popular car right now due to a lot of players um, in the pro level using this car. So that's going to be the final trade and we'll move on to the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification so you don't miss any future uploads. As you probably saw from the last video, or from the last trade actually, we're nearing, we're at 20,000 credit um, inventory value. So that's very good. We're getting very close to the beta nugget. I'll probably buy the beta nugget for like 30 to 40k. So I'll probably go for 35, which is the mid value of what I think I'll have to buy it for. And um, yeah, so we're getting pretty close. This is episode 10. We're already at 20,000 credits plus the other items in our inventory. So if you guys do not want to miss anything, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, as I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you want to watch um, the previous video, um, click on the left. And then if you want to continue watching the series, it'll be on the right.